This is a doozy. Historians are well aware that they have more trustworthy evidence for and information about Jesus than we have for any person more than th a thousand years ago. I'm just going to quickly insert here that I found this really cool article and I wanted to share pieces of it and I'm going to put a link and I'm going to um, include it so that you can read the whole thing and you can see my actual blog on the website and I'll put a link somewhere so that you can read the original article. So I am just reiterating what is in this article that I find fascinating. So in addition, so he lists 22 um, ancient writers outside of the Bible who documented the ex existence of Jesus Christ. Um, in addition, the best, most accurate sources on Jesus were written by numerous ancient Hebrew authors who mentioned Jesus in their historical scrolls, especially the New Testament of the Bible. You may want to disparage and discount them if you don't realize that the Bible is not one book. It's not. It's 66 books and letters written at different times by many authors from all different backgrounds, generally independent of one another. 27 of those books comprise the New Testament, written by about 13 different authors, many of whom were eyewitnesses. This is very important because a professional historian gives each report its own weight, especially in regards to proving Jesus' existence. If you don't understand this, pretend the New Testament never existed. Now imagine that a bunch of archaeologists went digging around the Middle East and Asia Minor at different locations, finding all of the letters, plus the four Gospels, the Acts of the Apostles, and Revelation, each of which mentions at the center of it its story, a man called Jesus. If you are an archaeologist who suddenly found these forgotten, lost, long, long lost documents, could you honestly entertain serious doubt about the existence of a man called Jesus? I have put two scriptures here. It, John 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word is Jesus Christ. John 1.14, and the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Jesus is God, and God does exist.